Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ahnia Tuselinandila. I am moderator of this presentation. Today, we are going to give our presentation about prostitution in Indonesia. But first, the, let me introduce my team. I am Ahnia Tuselinandila as the moderator. And the Eka as the first speaker, Ishal Fathul Aziz as the second speaker, Muhammad Fajar Nugraha as the third speaker, and the last speaker is Faiz Ali. Our presentation is divided into several sections. First, we will explain generally about presentation. Second, we will explain like our basic for prostitution. Next, we will then discuss the developing constitution for both reason and incentive factors. Next, we will give you example about the prostitution in Indonesia. And the last, we will talk about the government, government effort to enforce prostitution concept. But with, I will explain first about this prostitution. Okay. <laughs> prostitution is an endeavor or attraction or media to buy and sell summon the another person for sexual purpose and the exchange of sexual relation for money of give a straight transaction main position they are people with who acts in the median for tracking in person does Indonesia have a legal basic on prostitution? Okay. The issue of prostitution is liquid only on one article. On article 298 of the criminal code. This article prohibits anyone who makes a living or habitation and takes advantage of obscene activities carried out by other people and graduates a maximum of one year per month. I'd like to move on to the second speaker. It's a long way from where prostitution in Indonesia has grown. Okay. As explained earlier, prostitution is a place of sale. No idea human sellers are rampant in the sense of selling one's up for the self-satisfaction or for making and meet. Of course, they are also many irresponsible people. In fact, victims do not see status or a gig. The problem of prostitution is a fundamental problem in Indonesia. Until now, prostitution is often found in everyday life and exists in almost a region of Indonesia, but abundantly and in secret. Coupled with the development of increasingly sophisticated technology, the elements involved are also used to facilitate the practice of prostitution. The problem of prostitution is a structural problem. The fundamental problem that occurs in society is that instead understand the problem of prostitution is a moral problem. Not realizing this moral perception will result in the attitude of blame the victim which in turn make the victim ever more oppressed. Thank you. Why got prostitution happening? If, is there a reason or a factor? Uh, a three are three main motive the case prostitution in Indonesia. One, psychoanalytic motive emphasizes the neurotic aspect of prostitution, such as acting of OPT conflict and the need to defy parental and social standards. Two, economic motive is constantly of motivating factor. Uh, the economic motive is money. Three, situation motivation. Include a boost of parental power, physical abuse, or militation, and poor relationship with parents. So it can be concluded that the factor of prostitution can be divided into two, namely internal factor and external factor. Internet factor in the form of low moral standard and sexual desire the deaf person has. Meanwhile, external factor includes economic hardship, parental style, victim of sexual violence, and the desire of to obtain the higher social status. Thank you. I'd like to turn to tired speaker. 
Can you find out any now? Prostitution can is Indonesia. Well, thanks. Population lane investigation prostitution online in Green from Glass City Apartment Jakarta Pusat. This case beginning with the report from local resident and apartment employee. So far, cops already as it eight suspect with role musicari. Other than that, dozen of people which is a suspect and services user prostitution secured by cops for development. There are some facts that have been developed from the case of online prostitution traffic. The role of suspect from eight people that is has been named as suspect. Cop reveal three role of suspect with initial SP2, 33 years old, SE, 16 years old, and DP, 23 years old. SE have a role, role as prospect user with using online chat apps such a uh, meetup. GP have a role to promote their position business. As did you have a role to pick up the consumer. Cops still doing investigation about other five suspects. Of the three suspects who have been arrested, the police have secured for smartphone as evidence. The suspects were charged with multi multiple article one of which is article 88 of the jail protection law with the longest imprisonment than years. After getting report from parent and citizen cop doing investigation in Green Ramka apartment on yesterday, Saturday. Such investigation take place on Kristen Tower and Bogen file, file over. Kapolsek Cempaka Putih, Kompol Citya Rival that about 50 people were arrested. The majority are still teenagers. From the result of investigation, there are 22 women and 28 guys from Christian Tower and Bogen File Tower, side city. There is resident from Jakarta, Tangerang, Bekasi, and there are from Depok too. City side cost from this production online is around 200 to 300 in dollar. Let's move on the next topic about the government effort to if to efforts prostitution concept of this case. What the hell is law enforcement in Indonesia about this prostitution? Uh, in Indonesia, according to Criminal Code Article Number Two Hundred Ninety Six and Five Hundred Six. It only regulates people who provides prostitution or mutuary as we know in general, with maximum imprisonment one year, one year and four months, or pay fifteen thousand Indonesian rupiah. The sex worker and the customer are not threatened with punishment because this activity include categories as a victimless crime. Why? Because prostitution activity cannot be determined who is the perpetrator and who is the victim unless it's doing this activity i mean by violence cheatings and do it doing with the minors its activity will get the punishment from the article 287 criminal code maximum get imprisonment nine years okay how the government in enforcing laws regarding prostitution. The first effort, uh, first, we can close the place who provides the prostitution. For the example, we can look the 30 cases, Surabaya Regional Government closed the 30 cases on 18 June 2014. And this poster This Indonesian government effort to close the prostitution. And second, the we can give the refining effort of various aspects, include physical, mental, spiritual, and moral and social development behavior toward to child practicing prostitution. For the example, we can still look in the Jolly case again. The Surabaya Regional Government give 5 million Indonesian rupiah to him or Mujikari and 3 million rupiah 
to the sex worker and the regional government of Surabaya give the training like screen printing and laundry to change the old Dolly village and now Dolly village uh, as you know as Surabaya success to change the Dolly cases in the dark side in the bright side thank you occur due to external and internal factor which influence due to technological development. The government give effort to ex worker to find to another work. So many presentations from our group recording presentation in Indonesia. If there is an error, please forgive. Thank you and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.